Now back to our demos. Next, we have Finicity. Emily, are you with us? I am here. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Oh, great to see you. It's been a while. I know. It's good to see you as well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let me read a quick description, introduction, and then we'll let you take it away. Finicity Mortgage Verification Services. Through its Mortgage Verification Services, MVS product, Finicity open banking platform leverages high value consumer permission data directly from financial institutions and payroll processors to provide accurate real-time insights for a GSE accepted verification of assets, income, and employment in a simple one-touch experience. The solution offers flexible flows for all mortgage lending use cases. All right, Emily, tell us more. Awesome. Well, thank you. It's such a pleasure to be here today uh, to spend some time talking with you um, and others in the industry about latest tech and trends. Uh, to start off, I want to talk about the concepts and technology behind our solutions. You may have heard of this term before, but I want to talk about a powerful concept known as open banking. Open banking makes it simple for consumers to permission access to their financial data. In lending, it's really changing the game by enabling borrowers to share their information for home ownership and refi or refinance. It's really making things easier for everyone. Open banking is expediting workflows that used to take days and condensing them into minutes. We are leading the market towards safer data access through APIs driven by core principles like control, access, transparency, traceability, and security. Uh, there's a lot of meaning and work behind those words, but it's all focused on putting the consumer at the center of the experience. Bottom line, it's a more secure approach to data that removes credentials from the marketplace. Uh, Finicity Smart Analytics utilizes AI and machine learning to identify and categorize the data, providing asset, income, and employment data for better credit decisioning. No more friction, multiple requests to the borrower for the same information, or tracking down that last blank page that always seems to be missing. Uh, all of this while giving the consumer more control and insight into the process and reducing risk for the lender. Uh, we are constantly thinking about how this consumer permission data can enable digitization and better experiences. And when we talk about our mortgage verification services or MBS product that Jennifer just introed for you, uh, that I will be demoing today, that's exactly what we're providing. One-stop verification experience that avoids fragmentation or disjointed process of utilizing multiple vendors to get all the verifications that a lender might need. Within our configuration, lenders have the ability to customize the look and feel to align with the user experience that they want to present. We offer a range of flexible solutions that allow you to choose simple to implement standard flows or to completely customize your flow. Our solutions are available direct API through the Finicity portal and through ecosystem platform providers like Simple Nexus and ICE Mortgage Technology. We also partner closely with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and our approved asset and income report provider for their day one certainty and asset and income modeler or AIM programs. Uh, this gives lenders reports that are eligible to provide rep and warranty relief. And what it really means is that it's expediting loan processing time and saving money in the process. We're also very excited to be supporting uh, Fannie Mae's and Freddie Mac's new programs like Fannie Mae's Positive Rent History Program and Freddie Mac's broad release of their direct deposit program. Uh, these new initiatives and programs are just streamlining things more, providing consumers with better experiences and giving better data back to the lenders. For those of you who are currently considering as currently using asset verification, or if you're considering a move to a more digital experience, uh, the time is definitely now. Digital verification is a great place to start if you're looking to further digitize or kind of streamline your process. So today I'm going to walk you through a generic borrower workflow as an example using our demo lender Acme Lending. I'm going to highlight how this experience might look in a mobile application flow. Roughly 70% of our users actually come through this process on a mobile device, but we definitely support a desktop version as well. 
We refer to this app as the Connect Experience. As a lender, you have the ability to customize the look and feel of Connect to align with your brand. Again, just trying to make it even easier and more seamless for you as the lender. Uh, lenders can customize these workflows to present each of these steps wherever it makes sense in your application flow and process. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to walk you through a single touch UX where asset, income, and employment data is all gathered in a single session. Uh, through this process, you'll also see just how quick and easy this is for the consumer. So let's jump in and get started. Uh, the borrower is presented with this screen about their privacy, their data. They can review our terms and conditions and also see our privacy policy so they have a better understanding there and then they can get started. The first thing they're going to do is connect their bank accounts. So if we click in here, there's search for their financial institution. Uh, once they selected, there's additional information that appears giving the borrower more context and information about the process and what's happening. They click next, they provide their username and password associated with that financial institution. Uh, now the borrower can select whatever accounts they would like to permission for the report. They do have the ability to select multiple accounts from multiple financial institutions, but for the purpose of today, we're just going to select these two accounts from this one uh, FI. So we'll click save, and then we are on to the payroll portion. So the borrower will uh, verify their pre-populated social security number and date of birth. We then search our payroll connections and return employers found for the borrower to review and select. You will see that we have a few employers available here. Similar to account selection, the borrower can choose which employers they would like to include. Additionally, if the borrower would like more information or more detail around each of these employers, they can simply click into it and they can see that additional detail there. So that's super helpful for them as well. Once they're satisfied that they've selected the employers that they want to select, they click next. And just like that, the uh, payroll portion is done. The goal of this process when we're doing this is to create the highest success rate possible. We have another feature available within MBS where we collect and digitize the borrower's latest pay stub and match it up to the transaction history of their account to more confidently find the direct deposit information and match it with that employer. So let's add the pay stub really quick. So for the pay stub upload, the borrower can either take a picture on their mobile or they can upload an existing file. So we're going to upload a saved file. We'll go in here to our photos. We have the pay stub available here. We will add that. And just, that, just like that, the borrower is done and they're ready to submit. As you've seen, this process takes only a few minutes and can be done anytime, anywhere. Um, a few minutes later, a comprehensive set of reports are ready. So let's take a look at the reports that are generated from the experience that we just walked through. The data will transfer directly from Finicity's open banking platform to your point of sale or loan origination system. Uh, this data is available in JSON, XML, and PDF formats. Today, I'm going to show you a human readable PDF because that's a little bit easier to read through than JSON or XML data. So let's get started here. Let's first look at the transactions report that was generated from the accounts, the bank accounts that the borrower permissioned. If we take a look at this report, the top section will look familiar for those of you who are using our verification of asset report today. We have the asset summary by account as well as the transaction details to identify large deposits. And if we scroll down here, you can also see that we have identified and summarized income streams for that account as well. Next, let's take a look at the payroll report. Um, this is very straightforward. So you'll see here we have the employer name, employer address, uh, current year-to-date earnings and deductions, and then we have a breakdown of payment histories uh, associated with each of that, those employers. So 
you can see all of that detail is here. So with each different employer, we have that specific information. Lastly, let's look at the pay stub report. So in this case, we have also done a verification of income by matching the pay stub with deposits found in the transaction data. So you can see that the pay stub has been completely digitized. And then you'll see this match transaction. And then the summary of the account here. And then you'll also see all of these income streams here. Uh, in all of these cases, the great thing to call out here is that we leverage a portfolio ID. You can see it here in the top right. And this is used to tie all the reports together from a loan file um, into a single reference ID that's direct that's accessed directly from our platform. What this means is all Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae need is this portfolio, portfolio ID to submit through their automated underwriting system. And this really just simplifies the process for the lender. Additionally, throughout the cycle of the loan and the origination process, you can refresh any of these reports and get an updated view of the most current data. Uh, this can also help to speed up loan processing times and eliminate the need for manual verification processing, such as calling for a verbal verification of employment a couple days before close. Uh, we're just really excited about lenders who are using MVS today and the results that we're seeing. More and more consumers are expecting this digital experience and simplifying the verification process makes the borrower's application experience smoother and faster, leading to more referrals and more business. Um, MBS leverages Finicity open banking platform so lenders can use the best data from the best source in the best way to deliver a winning lending experience for their customers. All right, Emily, thank you so much for taking us through Finicity MVS. The first question I have for you is there's a lot of uncertainty and change in the industry right now. Can you some can you share something positive that you're hearing from your customers? Yeah, absolutely. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the demo, our um, lenders and partners that we work with have been really excited about the recent program announcements that Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae have made to just support um, more inclusive lending practices. I think that's top of mind for everyone in the industry. Everyone's figuring out how to address uh, the need to, you know, first time home buyers, the shortage, you know, the supply and demand shortage. And so Freddie Mac's uh, broad release of direct deposit and then Fannie Mae's positive rent payment history, we've just been receiving great feedback from our lenders who are using those programs and they're really finding that it's helping their workflows and their processes. So you mentioned in the demo that there are lenders who are really heads down on critical items and focused on scaling and retaining business. What would you say to someone who says there isn't time to implement new technology? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the tricky things as we've all experienced is the, the extremes, ups and downs that can come in the market that we're in. Uh, and we're seeing lenders who are digital first who are able to scale volumes maybe a little more effectively and who are able to address those peaks and valleys so they're not as dramatic or as impactful for them. Uh, and the trend towards digital is only going to continue. Uh, so it's really, really important that people get on board. The other thing I'll say to that is I feel like as an industry, you know, we're getting better and getting more advanced in providing solutions to lenders that make it easier for them to implement these digital tools without it being a huge lift on their organization. So I also think that as we continue to evolve and get better, that that makes it even easier for everyone else to adopt these technologies. Making it digestible, right? Not only yes. is it good for your company, but it's not going to be insurmountable to actually implement this tech. Yeah, and not going to require like large dev teams or all these resources that really aren't feasible for a lot of organizations. 
And my last question is, we've talked a lot over the past few years about digitization and putting the consumer at the center. Any insights you can share quickly in regards to what customers are wanting with a digital lending experience? Yeah, so I mean, this is no surprise to anyone, but with COVID and everything, we just saw the demand for simple and digital experiences really increased. Um, in a report that was put out last year, it also said that, you know, consumers wanted, 86% of consumers wanted more insight and control into what data was used to determine their credit worthiness. So I think we're really seeing consumers, you know, expecting better experiences, wanting better experiences, and we as the industry are trying to meet that need for them. All right. Thank you so much, Emily, for taking us through Finicity Mortgage Verification Services. With that, I'm going to pass things back over to Jennifer.